Hi everyone, I got a very nice and big fish from my regular fishing friends. Many thanks to the Xiao brothers who has always blessed me with their catches. So let's go and check out what kind of fish did I receive from them. The fish that I received from them is what we call a long record trevally. This fish uh, is quite common in our local waters and it can grow about a maximum of one meter. So this particular fish is about 60 centimeter and is a relatively good sized fish. Something interesting about the long record trevally is number one, if you look at the mouth over here, uh, it has a more like a upward looking kind of mouth, uh, kind of like set or maybe you can say a very unhappy kind of look. How it get its name is actually if you look closely inside the mouth, you can see rows of long record in the gill plate. Because this fish not only uh, fit on small fishes or prawns, it actually also fit on micro uh, organism by using the long record gills to filter this micro organism. So let's proceed to cut up the fish and prepare the fish for today's cooking. There is no skills on this trevally, maybe very, very small skills, which we will sort of like uh, clean off with the blade of a knife later on. But to make the fish a little bit easier to handle, uh, what I'm gonna do is I will cut off the fins. To prevent being cut by the sharp edges on the tail stock, so it's better to actually try to remove this part. Now we will proceed to cut the fish. There's no much meat over here, I'm going to take the head off. Okay, we do not want this part because there's a lot of blood over here. So finally, we left with uh, four pieces of uh, fish fillet. So um, what I'm going to do is just to make sure there is no bones because what I want is to turn all these fishes into what we make into a local delight called otta otta. So I have to sort of like a roughly cut the fish into smaller pieces and then I have to blend them up. Okay, I have already cut the fish into uh, smaller sizes like this. So I'm going to prepare the rest of the um, spices and chilies and everything for the otta otta. And then also we will actually use this fish to make into a fish paste. So let's go. Thank you. 
All right, let's first prepare the fish meat to be blended. The chili paste is cooling down. So we will blend this uh, fish paste first. Adding about 100 ml of ice cold water to help to blend the uh, fish. One teaspoon of uh, sugar and then a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's add the chili paste into it. I sprinkle some white pepper to give this whole paste a little bit of more depth. The last very important ingredient is our coconut milk. Wow, this is smelling so, so good. I'm so excited for the final process to make the otter. So let's get all this paste out and prepare the final step to cook the otter. I'm going to use some uh, hot water just to clean the banana leaf as well as to soften the banana leaf a little bit. All right, before we wrap the otter, make sure that you dry the banana leaf on both sides. And then what we're going to do is we will use the lighter green side. And then after that, we're going to put the otter right smack in the middle. Leave a little bit of gap over here and over here on this side, but uh, spread the otter right smack in the middle. Fold, fold, and then use a toothpick over here and come out from here to secure it. Okay, and here. That's it. We are ready to cook the otter. Now I heat up my cast iron pan, all right, and I think it's like a, you can see some smoke coming out, it's quite hot. And I'm going to gently blow down our otter. Okay. Oh, just nice, three. All right, and then we're gonna grill this on both sides, say about uh, one and a half minute to two minutes per side. Okay, always remember to control your temperature. Don't let it go too high because if not, then it will get burnt. Okay, about two minutes really. Let's flip to have a look. Hmm, okay, a little bit char over here. We're probably gonna cook this side also about maybe two minutes or so just to make sure that it's totally cooked. I think that we are almost done. I'm just gonna let it grill for a short while and then let's go to find out what is the result. Let's try homemade otak. This is my first time making. Okay. Smells really good. Mm. Oh. The taste is spicy as what I expected, which is something that I like. Mm. Perhaps maybe I should cut down a little bit of my water because currently it's a little bit moist. It has that uh, little bit of um, sort of like a um, I expect it to be a little bit chewy but overall the taste is very good I'm quite happy with my first try The taste of those otta were pretty good I would say and the fish was very nice but I think I have added a little bit too water so I couldn't get the otta to be of a little bit more chewy texture but it's something that I have learned and I hope that uh, you can try out this recipe and I'll see you in my next video